Today, we are going to learn how to draw a kite. Do you know how to draw a kite? We're going to learn how to build this drawing with some basic lines and shapes. Did you know, let me see, how many do we need? We only need three basic lines and shapes to create this. That's amazing. We are going to use a triangle, an arc, and a line. Well, that's amazing. Let's see how it all fits together. All right, let's start off with a line. Right about here, we're gonna draw a line on an angle. So start here at the top and then bring your line down like this. And remember, if you need to pause this video at any point to catch up, just pause the video and then you can catch up and then join back in with us. Next, we're gonna add another line and that line will go on this side, over here. And now we're going to add in another line and we're gonna bring that line all the way down to here. Okay, and then now we'll add, we're just gonna close the shape. We're gonna connect this line to this line with another line. So let's start here and bring this down and stop. Okay, now we're gonna do two more lines. One will be here and it'll come all the way down the center. And then one more is going to go across and then it'll go across here and connect these two points on the inside. Okay, and notice, look, I made a little mistake here. See how it doesn't quite match that? I don't mind at all. I'm just gonna leave that like that because my drawing looks just fine. Excellent. So, what do you do when you have a line that doesn't quite connect, but you want it to? Well, one thing you could do is just leave it. I could just leave it. Or if you want, you can make this line a little thicker or you can make this line a little thicker. Now in this case, if you want to make this look like it's coming to a point, you can just make this line a little thicker and then problem solved. Just like that. Okay, so let's move on. Next, we're going to add in an arc. And I want that arc to start here. This is going to be the string for the tail of the kite. So let's start here and we're gonna make a nice big flowing arc that goes this way and then stop. Okay, and then we're gonna add another arc, join that, it's gonna come around this way. So let's start here and have that arc go to here. And then we're going to add one more arc that goes this way. So we'll start here and we will have that arc come this way. And imagine this kite is flying through the air and the tail is whipping around like this. Now we're going to add in the bows that go around. And I'm gonna show you how to make a bow very easily with triangles, okay? So we're going to add two triangles pointing toward each other. So one will go here. There's three, perfect, three sides to this triangle. Well, there's three sides to every triangle, but these sides are the same length all the way around, okay? So we're gonna have one triangle here, and then we'll have another triangle here pointing toward that one. Now there's an easier way to create this, but just so you know, this is two triangles. Now I'm gonna show you a different way to make this. If you start here and then you go across the line and then you start here and then you go across the line again, you're making an X. Okay, and then you can just join the ends like this. Now we're going to create that all the way around up to the top. So you need to space these bows all the way around the shape. And what we're going to do is we're going to follow this path to make it look like the bows are following along with it. So let's start here. We'll do our one line and then another line like that to make our X. And then we will close those shapes. Do it again. 
Now notice I turned my bow to match how the line was curved around. And then I closed those shapes. Here again, I'm going to make my X and then two lines. Now I'm not going to put one here, I'm gonna put one up here, okay? Because there's too much going on right here. So I'm gonna put one over here. And as an artist, you can make those choices because this is your piece of artwork. So if you want to put a bow right here, you can. But on my piece of artwork, I'm not going to put a bow there. I'm gonna put it up here. So, oh, I started a different way this time, but that's okay. It's, I still know what to do, because I just need to make my X and then add another line here. You can do it out of order. You don't have to do it all the same way each time. Here's my X, and then I'm gonna have two lines on either side. Okay, so we learned two different ways to create a bow. And now we have a kite. Great job following along, everybody. Now, if you liked watching this video, then please subscribe to my channel and smash that like button, please. Those likes and subscribes help me so much with this channel. It allows me to create more videos for you. And if you have an idea for a video or a drawing lesson, leave it in the comments. Let's hear what you have. It's so creative, the creative ideas that you have in your mind, and I'll see if I can turn that into a drawing lesson. Thanks so much for following along. I'll see you next time. Bye. Let's draw with Mr. Migrant Theory. For this and other episodes, drawing lessons, activities, and books, please visit drawwithmrmike.com. And don't forget to subscribe to the Draw With Mr. Mike channel on YouTube, Vimeo, and Facebook. Draw with Mr. Mike. Let's draw with Mr. Mike. D R A W with M R M I K E.